From promoting safe sex to researching breakthroughs in HIV treatment, scientists in just about every part of the world are working hard to try and crack the code of the deadly virus, including in Cuba. Researchers there have just discovered a highly aggressive new form of HIV. It develops into full-blown AIDS much faster than more common strains. We have a pair of reports. First, CCTV's Jack Barton talks with the head of a Belgium-based research team. Professor Anne-Mika van Damme was leading a Belgian research team in Cuba when they uncovered the highly aggressive HIV strain CRF-19 purely by chance. The Cubans were noticing that more and more patients were progressing very fast to AIDS. Like uh, as soon as they were diagnosed with HIV, they already had AIDS. Usually it takes like five, ten years to develop AIDS when you're infected. And here it was less than three years. Researchers believe the mutation came about by people having unprotected sex with multiple partners, each infected with a different type of HIV, which then combined into a single, far more aggressive strain. People infected with the CRF-19 strain tend to have much higher levels of the virus in their blood. It also bypasses the far slower ways of anchoring to cells common to other types of HIV. The mutation is considered more dangerous because it is much more efficient at attaching itself to human cells and then penetrating them at a much faster rate. Up to 20% of Cubans carrying HIV are estimated to have the CRF-19 strain. We don't know. Maybe someday it will get out. We know it is in other countries here and there, there's like one patient, but we don't know if it's going to spread or not. The World Health Organization estimates there are 35 million people worldwide living with HIV and AIDS. While highly effective drug treatments mean the infection is no longer a death sentence, researchers warn that patients with the new strain are much more likely to be diagnosed after they have already developed full-blown AIDS when damage from the disease has already taken a heavy toll. Jack Barton, CCTV, the University of Leuven in Belgium.